I hope you're ready because we're recording you. We're recording. Uh, Anna. We're on it. We're on it. Uh, oh, it's freezing. Isn't it? uh, <sighs> Welcome back to Volumes. I never know what to say when I say that. I just say it. You know? Yeah. I just go for it. Go for the deep dive. Quite emotional. Passionate. Yeah. That's quite passionate. I feel like I could be quite a, a passionate person. I don't know if I'm an emotional person. But definitely. I think you are. I think you've got some emotional. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I like, keep people on their toes. But yeah, we're doing a podcast. Oh, yeah. A reoccurring guest. What, about that, you're. This is technically your fourth time on the podcast, but only second time that will actually be uploaded because yeah. of technical difficulties. I know. The technical I'm difficulties so famous, are that I hate you. What? I'm so famous. <laughs> so beloved. Um, you do you have anything you want to talk about? Eh... Uh, if you do, just interject at any point. But I've got I've got a good topic starter for you. This is kind of bad. It's bad. It yeah, doesn't taste good. No. This is quite good. I found it, but it's all right. It's quite good. Cult zeros a bit. Math. I'd love to be. At the, I literally said this already on the podcast. But I'd like to be at the point in which I can I can like mention a product, and they'll send me that product. Like Skittles, like the first time. Yeah, like, I just oh, want to be that famous where that's a thing that happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how cool would that be to to be like, oh, I'll, I love Skittles, and then Skittles are like... Happening. Like, they actually gained money from me <coughs> saying that, so they send me Skittles. Yeah. How cool would that be? Yeah. See, um, I agree with that. Uh, Post Malone, he has like uh. a Budweiser or whatever, Bud Light Bud fridge Light. in his house that they just fill up all the time, like for free. Bud Light... As um, but naff is distasteful. Uh, I don't know. I, do you think I know this stuff? I just no. know that he gets it for free, and that's you all that matters to me. So. I don't drink. It's disgusting. Back to the broadie. You back do to the night. drink. All the Christian ears just got upset. All the what's what's that? Anyway, let's anyway, focus. Don't got a question. let's not go down that rabbit hole. I mean, I'd go down that rabbit hole. Um, You're a rabbit hole. Any anyone that wants to come on the podcast, whether you be of faith or not, hit me up. I want to talk to you. Hit me learn, up too. Oh, I want to expand my understanding of the world through yeah. this podcast. Um, but you and I want to hear your opinions on call it culture. Call out culture. Yeah. Do you know what call it culture is? Cancel culture. Like cancel culture, call it culture. Yeah. yeah. Like people, <coughs> people like. I'm against it. I'm I'm like straight up against it. Um, so, it's so Logan Paul, right? Oh, you Sam that was like a really famous one. Yeah, but film. he didn't really get cancelled. He did at the time. He's doing all right now, though. Yeah, like, but people like to forget. But mm. he did get cancelled for a moment, though. Some yeah. people just get cancelled. Or like outright. Eli Roth. Think about him. Who's that? What's the story there? He's basically. Right, he's a politician, but he's very right wing, so right. he's very out there. Right. Can I say anything? From where America? Yeah, pretty sure that's what Eli Roth is. Sound like you don't know the story, Ian. I do. I just know there was a do lot. You, of do you need to say allegedly before telling the story? Uh, so he's just very offensive. What did he say? Bad stuff. Yeah, but it's like the type of that right wing Christian kind of mm. look upon things so whenever he comes out people are like you talk sense when you say that but you're also really fucking offensive right so a lot of people hate him do you think you should be allowed to say what you want freedom of speech yeah but Within does reason. that mean that <coughs> people have the right to call you out for it and then get you cancelled yeah. actually cancelled like right? why is that a thing people don't like difference of opinions yeah you know, I have my I, opinion, you have your opinion. I'm going to disagree. Yeah, like, you and I'd consider you a friend. We're friends, right? Yeah. Why do you say it like that? I don't know. That's fine. All right, clearly not friends. I'm not bothered. Uh, we are friends. Um, yeah, we're friends, right? But we we probably disagree on, like, m- probably more things than we agree on sometimes, you know? Yeah. But that doesn't stop us being friends, Right. I would never like publicly humiliate you. I wouldn't like tweet about you because yeah. I know. Do you know what I mean? 
why is that a thing that exists? Like people calling people out. I don't really know. It's so strange, right? I think some people either do it out of spite, out of if it's maybe a personal issue, they'll be like, oh, fuck, can I swear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you want? So, like, if it's a personal issue. Uh, 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 I'm not going to call you out if you swear. Okay. Right. Someone might, though. I mean, <coughs> you can never be too weird. Hi, I'm, I'm Ewan. Um, Don't call the podcast that I'll call you out. Yeah, personally. If you have a personal issue with someone and you're like, Better about it. Mm. To be like, well, fuck you, you know. And social media is such a vicious place. Vicious place where people use it as their attempts to. If I don't like someone, I'm not gonna walk up to them and go, "Fuck you." I'll tweet about it. You would. Is this like nah, a personal I'm thing? Okay. I, I don't actually do that, but. See, I'd yeah. rather just confront them in, in reality. Yeah. But but I'm about a 50 50. For certain people, I'd be like, I'm going to cancel you. And then other people, I'd be like, Well, you, you, so you agree with cancel culture? Now and then, I think some people deserve it, but some, a lot of the time, it is about extreme. Do you have an example of someone that deserves it? Because I'm, I'm like, straight up, it shouldn't be a thing. So, like, I want to hear your opinions on it. <sighs> Who deserves it? Or like, get, like, what's an example? Just give me an example. You don't need to give me like a literal person, but just like, what's an example of someone? Like, what would someone have to say for you to be like, no, they deserve to be like cancelled, to receive cancel culture? Um, or like, do you know what I mean? Cancel culture. It's a full culture. I don't know <coughs> because I see it a lot, like with Twitter. Mm. I follow a lot of like film, Twitter, so whenever anything happens in that type of industry, it tends to get like vicious, I guess. So I'm trying to think of something within that type of area, but B. Larson, right, you hear all about that. Yeah. That was cancel culture. That was an attempt to cancel culture. The fact that she basically said something for femi- feminism, I believe. What did she say? Something about wanting more female interviewers. Female interviewers, okay. So then angry virgins on the internet got, uh, you know, people that don't, incels and all mm-hmm. that. Incel culture, I think that. Uh, incel culture's bad. Do you think there should be more female interviewers? Yeah, of course. <coughs> Equality. Shouldn't there just be just more people that are good at their job? Yeah. But does that necessarily mean more female interviewers? Like, do you think... No. So, like, just say there's two people equally good at the job, yeah. but one's a woman, right? Do you think it should be picked at random? Like, you roll, a, like, a dice and you go, like, this is what it goes to? Or do you think you'd be like, oh, we'll give it to the woman? I'm I'm not saying, by the way, that yeah. I'm... Well, that's, like, one of those things. It's I just said more, that I'm probably I, called out for that. I believe oh, that the most qualified person should do it. Yeah, I think that should be the yeah. case. But, but when it sits even, it's like, it usually goes to a man. Yeah. And I, I get that that's like, <coughs> there's like sons, institutional yeah. sexism that exists. It totally is. Like, mm. you have to be, I would say you'd have to be naive to believe it doesn't. Yeah. Like, white man. You and me are likely to get a job over the women. Yeah. Well, we I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot too. Yeah. But I don't know if we are really much competition for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> true, um, true. But <coughs> white man is definitely perceived as like like base human. Yeah. And then anything different from that is is different. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like we are the standard in okay. a sense. But we made ourselves the standard. Yeah. Like we we forced ourselves to be dominant. We probably we're like we're not the most dominant. No. In a technical level. We're not the strongest. We're not the smartest. We're not the fastest. We don't. We don't actually tick any of those boxes. But somehow, we snaked our way in. Most population. Do you think that's it? We're just. Yeah. Most well, we don't even have the biggest population as Caucasian. Yeah. I don't even know what the what it is with uh, this. Why? Can maybe imagine Eastern. 
Do you think we just invented with... something a little bit earlier than everyone else, like a gun? I don't know who invented guns, right? But just say we invented guns. Is that the reason for why we could like hold yeah. that against people and then <laughs> like literally hold that against people and then progress? Not progress. See, there's all these <laughs> terms like could we progress. As if I don't really know the history yeah. of our cultures to. I don't know the history of African culture, I don't know the history yeah. of Asian culture, I don't know the or South American culture, with Latina, I don't know it, but... Is Latina, wait, Latina just means like, wait, what's Latino? Uh, South American. Isn't that Latino? Latin. Uh, Latin. Latina, Latin. Isn't yeah. Latina, like, woman? It could be, uh, yeah. I bet I just said Latina, because it's... But we're so uncultured. Uh huh. That we don't, <laughs> we don't know. We don't, we're know, don't know because we're we've never fucking taught this. Yeah, we're not. No. We're taught about white man. That's, oh, that's what I mean. And like, we're taught about white men's achievement. We're not taught about a black man's achievement yeah. or a, an Asian man's achievement. You know I mean, I feel the, like we're uh, the. Like, oh, being in from the UK, right? Were you ever taught about Martin Luther King? No. No. We should have though. We should have. What been we were taught about? Hitler. Hitler. Well, Fair enough. Probably the most dominating human in existence we were talking about. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, or, or white history, do you know what I mean? We were talking mm-hmm. about. And he's a bad guy. But they, they probably thought, yeah, but he's like the strongest. So we'll teach them about him. And then we'll teach them about the guy that bet him as well. Uh-huh. Instead of being like... Oh, and no, then they talk about Egyptians. That... Yeah. Or the pyramids. Look at the pyramids. Yeah. And then we learn about a pharaoh that died. Like, yeah. I mean, are we really even taught the pyramids? I feel like World War One. I mean, we're always taught about the wars, both taught. of them. But that's all I can remember. I don't even care. Like, no. I we're taught we about British taught. history, yeah. Yeah. but we're not taught about world history. Like we're we really weren't. As a Maybe society, we were taught about a lot about European history, but a lot, most of that European history was just white, white man history. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? We're not taught about other people's cultures. I'm glad that we agree that that's like not beneficial. Like no, we should learn not. about other places and other people. And, uh, like, this sounds dumb, but I feel a bit hard done by, like, like, because I, I don't want to be, I don't want to, like, I, when I meet people, I don't think, oh, where's this, where's this person from? Do you know what I mean? Who is yeah. it? Like, I want to, I, I care about who this person is, but not, like, do you know what I mean? It's almost not, like another country, let's say, France, or maybe China, for example, they're expected to learn English. Because it's the worldwide language. Yep. The two economic superpowers of the United Kingdom and America all speak yeah. English. serious so taught English. Hmm. Uh, but are we expected to learn Mandarin? No. Nope. Are we expected to learn French? No. Nope. We get taught Spanish until we're in what, second year? And we're not even really expected Third to year. learn it. Third year, I think. We're just expected to be in class. We're not yeah. really expected to learn it. I know hola, amigo. I and I love a bad word, but I'm not going to say it. I know uh, nothing. Put a madre. Put a madre. You know what that is? I know no, no language. My I knowledge of Spanish has came from watching Narcos, not from school. Mm, exactly. I used to sit in Spanish up the back and just do, do, <laughs> draw smiley faces. I, I want to be more cultured. I'm, mm. I want to learn about as many things as possible. I think. I think I'm cultured, but I'm only cultured in what I'm, like... I just shook my head there as I think, no, you're not. I didn't no, mean it like that. No, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm cultured in what I'm interested in. Mm. Talk to me about movies or I'll fucking skill you, but talk to me about... But China. do you only know Hollywood movies? White movies? Do yeah, you mean? I, don't even, I don't even know French films. Yeah, do you know... But like, I know, yeah. like, artsy, artsy French movies or they're a thing. Yeah. I don't know Korean cinema, even though we've seen Parasite the other yeah. night. Yeah, that's interesting. <coughs> and it's not like we can't watch those movies. Like, no. well, we can, but we choose of, not yeah, to. Tons of dubbed movies, and even importantly, tons and tons and tons of like subtitled movies uh-huh. you can watch from anywhere. But Have people we, choose not to. Yeah, because it's like it doesn't fit. Uh-huh. I feel like it's because it doesn't fit like the majority of people's like expectations. Like, uh, I don't know what what is the reason? Why don't we watch them? Just laziness? Do you yeah. think we're just lazy? So we're, we're so used to our own little bubble and being British or Scottish at whatever one you'd prefer, I think... I'm human. human. I well, identify as human. I am human. That's it. And I only see people as human. I don't see people as... 
anything but human. So you don't, do you believe in nationality? See, if you think about it, right? To believe in nationality is stranger to not. Mm. To believe in nationality is a bit strange. Like... So if, some, if you were abroad, let's say you're on holiday, and a Spanish guy walks up to you and goes, where are you from? You're going to go, I'm human. No, I would I would tell him where I'm from. And I'm What's your, like... I would say I'm from the UK. UK. That's what I'd say. So you would identify as... I would identify... British. On a, that like, we are from on a, on, For terms of, like, discussing this theoretically, uh-huh. I, I identify, do you know what I mean? In uh-huh. quotations, I identify as human. Do you know right. what I mean? But in reality, if someone asked me, I'd be like, oh, I'm from Britain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But you wouldn't say Scotland. You would leave uh, that for the accent to do I don't it. know if I would say Scottish, actually. Maybe I think I an accent gives it away. I think most yeah. people would clock yeah. it. But Most people think we're Irish, though. Mm. I've got that so many times. I've never. I've really? never been called Irish. I think I'd get offended if you called me Irish. Really? Perfectly honest with you. See, I wouldn't because I, I, like, I see us all as just people. <coughs> all just people, man. We're all just people. I'm, I'm not like a big national guy. Like I don't particularly not, care for... Not patriotic? No, I wouldn't say I'm patriotic. I'm patriotic to the human race. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not really patriotic towards anything. It's kind of strange that we believe, like... I'm all, I feel like I'm definitely in the minority to believe this, but it's strange to believe that we... There's, it's so natural for most people just to believe that this is, like, our country, this is what we should believe, this is what we should support, this is what we should do. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you ever, like, being from Scotland, right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had that sense that you're like, you're not meant to like the English? Nah, I've not. No. Never. I've always like... Never ever. I've not grown up believing it, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't mind the English. Within <laughs> reason. Are you incriminating yourself? No. Are you going to be... You, you're actually just outing yourself as a racist? You're call it culturing yourself? Uh, yeah. Circle. No, but... We learn about Scotland and England growing up. Right, mm-hmm. it was history at high school. And we're kind of like, oh, the English are bad. And then we meet the English, and some of them are arrogant, some of them are rude, so are Scottish. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's this kind of sense of, oh, fuck the Tories and fuck the English. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. Scotland. Yeah. And it's like, I don't like the Tories, I don't like their policies, I don't like their ideology. Right? But it's like, don't dislike them because they're English. You get where I'm coming from. Yeah. No. no I I I kind of like I get that that is the case. Like, like I know I've grown I'm, up where you're kind of meant. Oh, yeah, fuck I'm the I'm English. self-aware enough to know yeah. that like that is something that people generally believe you. Yeah. yeah not I to, just don't relate to it. I don't really think it's our generation. I, I think it's. I think there's a lot of people in our generation that are like, no, we, you, like, you can't like conservative policies or conservative, or you can't like English because. Mm-hmm. That's most prevalently, yeah. pre- prevalently, pre- most of my experiences with English like. people. I, I'm saying this as if they live like five hours away from us. When what? It's an hour, maybe two mm. hours. Two hours, to England. I don't know, man. Probably, yeah. Sounds mm. about maybe, maybe. For experience, that, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <to hours. coughs> I don't know. But um, you go on holiday, and say you go to Bakalouf. Who? You go to Ibiza. Ibiza with the boys. Right. You know where all the Scottish people stay? Mm. From what, from I've been to Ayanapa and Malia. They all go Weird to the Scottish flex bars. What? Weird flex I'm just game. saying, right, just from my own experience, going to the party resorts. All the Scottish go to the Scottish bars. Are you just bar. bragging now? No. What are you telling me? You're right? bragging to me. <laughs> telling you. but, all, but all the Scottish people go to the Scottish bar. And it's like, we well, don't want to be around English. See, I think there's a weird part, that's a weird culture to me itself, yeah. like to go to somewhere where you're basically just going to Scotland or, or Britain, you're basically just going to Britain, Yeah. but warm. Yeah, like it's just full of Tenerife all different and like Ibiza and, and Magaluf and Ayanapa and stuff like that. They're basically just Britain, but warmer. Like I want to go experience culture. If I right. leave, if I leave the UK, I want to go see culture. I want to go live where the people live. I want to understand what the people think. I want to get a new point of view. I want to learn something about myself yeah. and the world around me. 
I don't just want to just go somewhere <coughs> that's just warmer. I agree. Like, I do want to see the world. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You dying? Maybe, but... That would be make, like, this podcast go viral if you died. Yeah. I can't even save myself. Oh, yeah. Awkward. But, um... Oh, awkward. I want to experience culture. I want to go places. I want to see the world in that mm. kind of sense. Yeah. But I also do enjoy going to Magaluf. Well, I've not been to Magaluf, but going to Malia. Right. Yeah, fair enough. You know what I mean? Because I mean, it's... I didn't, I didn't, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, by the way. I'm just saying no. that I just cannot relate to it. Do you know what I mean? I think, like, going to another country, you should experience their cultures. I've been to Greece so many times. I know kind of Greek culture. But I've then you been, go to, like... But I've been to... I've not... I've been to the party resorts, and I've also been to quite Greek villages. All right, yeah, cool. And experience Greek food and Greek dancing and, you know... That's that's the only bit I'd like to go to. Oh. Uh-huh. Like but you experience actual proper Greek, how they are. Real act, people. Real, real people, people. Real Greek yeah. people. Like not that. the people in Tourist Malia people. Oh. Who, who are to t- tourists and yeah. just want the money. Well, yeah. Proper people that want to speak to you. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. Here, that's interesting, like you said that, because I feel like when you go to the places like Malia, uh-huh. all the people there, all they care about is them taking money from you. Most of the time, it's some guy from Birmingham coming up to you and going, yeah. all right, lad, do you want to come into the club for a few yeah. drinks and a balloon and fiver? And yeah. you're like, fuck off. But when you go to actually cultural places, a uh-huh. lot of people, they won't, <laughs> they won't give you money, but they'll be so accommodating, do you know what I mean? They'll make you food and they'll, they'll like, yep. do you know what I mean? So, like, in a sense, they're indirectly giving you money through their their hard work, do yeah. you know what I mean? That's interesting. I never thought about it like that. Um, it's like we've always gone to... Like a small hotel in the middle of fucking nowhere in Kos. Mm-hmm. I mean, quiet village. You know, it's a holiday resort, but it's not massive. Mm-hmm. Uh, Even a holiday resort, like. And th- there is tourists, and there is quite a lot of tourists. Mm-hmm. But it's like not into that. people that are always go there. Yeah. So the the locals are they're used to tourists, but they're also hardworking and. They're not like Malia. Right. You know where I'm coming from. But it, no, I get you. There is a sense of... It's like a little like hybrid between Consumerism, the there's a sense of that type of... We want your money, but we're going to work hard for your money. When you go to Malia, it's, we expect give me, your give money. Give me all your money now. Uh-huh. <coughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but I will say my one pet peeve... Yes, right, tell me. ...about going away on holiday or anything like that. So you've got to Greece... Right. Have I had Greek food? Um, I don't know if I've been. Have I been to Greece? Oh yeah, I have been to Greece. Yeah. Right. So oh. you ever had a gyros? No, I've never had a, a gyros. Right, a gyros is basically like a kebab. Right. right. I only, Chips, I only went tea. to Greece for a day. A day. From Cyprus. Right. So I got like we went. Yeah. I think. Wait, is that? Is that <coughs> what I did? I don't even know. I've only I've been I've been to Greece, but I've only been to Greece once for a day. Right. That can you can put it anywhere, right? right. Go to Spain, you want paella or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Traditional food. Racist. And <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> call and call you call sat call. down and you're at the table, and then your pal kind of look up and go, "Can I get a cheese pizza?" <laughs> and you're kind of like, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, can I get like whatever mm. fucking traditional food?" Yeah. Right, a G-Ross. Gyros is quite stodgy, right? It's Fast food, but... But traditional fast food. But, yeah. Yeah. And then your pal's like, can I get a cheese pizza? <laughs> and you kind of look at them like, you're a real star. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck really off. Bro. Really, <laughs> really, bro. I'm not naming <laughs> names, but he knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's like, you, yeah. That's fine. Um, <coughs> I think you know who I'm talking about, too. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I do. <laughs> We're not going to details. Um... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I love uh, going to places and actually trying traditional food. Yeah. Is, imagine going to China and only eating McDonald's. Oh, although every place I go to I eat McDonald's. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I do. Like, I've, I've made a point. I've, <coughs> I've never been on a holiday and not had McDonald's. Because right. I love trying, like, the unique things that place has on, on the menu. Yeah, true. Seeing Moldova, the McDonald's in Moldova, everything had shrimp in it. 
Really? Literally everything. I remember I told you this and you said, wait, isn't it landlocked? <laughs> and it is. Moldova's landlocked. Oh, yeah, Why sure. do we have so much shrimp? Right. It's so Fuck. strange. Right. We may have spoke about this. <coughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to the podcast I did with Andrew. Uh, link, 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 link. Um, unless you're listening to the audio version of this, then just search it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think it's called The Country That Doesn't Exist. Mm. Transne- Transnistria, <coughs> The Country That Doesn't Exist. Check it out. Um, I, like, imagine going to Moldova and not trying traditional food. Yeah. Uh, well, I, don't, I didn't, we didn't really eat in Moldova because we, well, I guess tr- Transnistria is in Moldova. It's too technical. But in Transnistria, all we ate was traditional food. Mm-hmm. All we ate was traditional food. And it was great. It's so good. It's like, imagine if we were like American... Right, right. So I'm not even going to count America as this because Americanisms are everywhere. And we mm. basically eat American McDonald's. food, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, McDonald's. Itself. But imagine like you're American, right, and you come to Scotland. What are you going to try? McDonald's. No again. No. Haggis. Haggis. Yeah. Going to try it. Yeah. They're not. You're probably not going to like do you it. Like haggis. I do. I love it. It's tasty. Yeah. Well do you like it from the chippy? Wait, I did, what? I didn't know they sold it in the chippy. Ah, you can get it bottled. Oh, they only go to the chippy. Of course you can get it bottled. Scotland, yeah. everything bottled. <laughs> and deep fried. <coughs> and right, deep fried tigers. Covered in vinegar and salt and so, oh, so, so unhealthy, I don't know. It's so bad to this. I like tigers. I like tigers as well. I can understand why people don't like tigers, but I like tigers. I think, see if you didn't know what it was <coughs> and you ate it. It doesn't bother me, but if you if you ate it without knowing, you'd like it. Mm. Everyone would like it, I think. Do you like black pudding? Oh my god, I love black pudding. Thank Do you know what I hate though? What? What's that stuff that you always get with black pudding? Fruit pudding. Fruit pudding. Oh, oh it's stinking. That's fruit the pudding. worst, right? Like fruit pudding that is, is literally stinking. the worst. Food. But black pudding is black like pudding's top peach. tier. Th- that is the best. Oh, Square sausage like... as well. Square sausage, right? I'm alright. I don't know. I'm on the fence. So, I'm, I can't believe I'm. I know someone from England, right? I'm not going <laughs> to down go down this route. But I know someone from England, and she'd never had square sausage. Is it not common in England? No, from the borders. Is it not on like a uh, no full she, English breakfast square? No, no, no. They don't have. They have a link. I, I prefer a link like sausage. No, right. Way so, the, from the borders, and they had never had square sausage before, and I'm like, what the fuck? I remember I sent her a Snapchat of me making square sausage one day. And she was like, <laughs> what the hell is that? And I was like, sausage, like. <laughs> <laughs> why and why it was your absolute, sausage square <laughs> and it was actually mind blown if someone like they don't sell it down there it's kind of weird that it's called a sausage though because it is it's like a square burger yeah. like a square burger patty thing not really a sausage you but know it's right? from pig what does it matter though but sausage is pig it's not but cow. See, well, if you got a beef you can get beef sausages can you yeah you can get vegan sausages. You can get anything. Mm, true. <coughs> you can probably get. You can get like chicken hot dogs. You know what I mean? You can get mm. anything. I remember I said that to Lucy the other day. Do you get vegan hot dogs? Yeah, you get vegan anything. Name. You can't name one thing that you don't get a vegan version of. You can literally get like full vegan fish that looks and feels like fish. Really? It tastes mm. gross. But then. You tried it? Yeah. It tastes a bit. No, it's not that it's vegan, it tastes <coughs> gross. It's that. It tastes like seawater, and yeah. it's obviously designed to taste like seawater fish, and seawater fish can be a bit gross. Do you like fish? Actually, yeah, I love fish. Mm-hmm. I like freshwater fish more, though. Although See, you, like, shouldn't if I were to ever... you shouldn't eat fish. <coughs> no. There's too much mercury in fish right now, and you shouldn't consume fish. It's literally killing people all the time. Mm-hmm. I, like, we're, people are dying, and they're like, maybe we shouldn't put this in like supermarkets, and then they're like, mm, but also it's fine because it's really, really profitable. Uh-huh. Well, the it's fishing industry, the yeah. fishing industry in Britain, where at Ireland, yeah, it makes billions per year. Do you know what I discovered the other day? Yeah. Um, Maybe not billions, but I really don't know. Probably quite a lot. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, that uh, Jeff Bezos mm-hmm. makes more money than Scotland a year. Fuck off. He's a, he's one guy. Oh, How wow. can one guy make more money than a country? How can you make that much money off Amazon? So gross, man. Like, here, this is what I was thinking, right? Why are, why are people buying from Amazon? You can literally just, like, w- like name one thing that exists. Name anything you want to buy. Name anything. Literally anything. A plane. Right. Okay. You probably can't buy that on Amazon. A toy plane. 
a toy plane. You could buy that from anywhere. Why'd you have to buy it from Amazon? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no reason why, like, th- this is the way I look at it, right? Imagine the internet, right, mm-hmm. without Amazon. All those shops exist. Like, I don't know, like, you can buy a MacBook from Apple, right? Or you can buy, uh, like, audio interface from Beeringer. Beeringer, whatever it's called, right? Uh-huh. You can buy mics from other places, right? All he did was take all those and put them on one website, Amazon.com. Uh-huh. But they all existed. People were just too goddamn lazy to type in the actual company. Do you name. actually think that as a culture we're lazy? It's like, yeah, that's the as problem. As a society, we people, are. Lo- people are the problem. <coughs> we're giving this guy all our money, oh. and he's literally charging us more just because we're too lazy to just go to the right website to buy what you want to well, buy in the first place. And that book is it cheaper than Amazon or uh, it's, Apple? It's the same. It's the same. It's a set price. Right. Um, but. Unless it's always like second hand or whatever. Right. But it's, it's like the same price. And in fact, it's, I don't even know if you can really so buy your jacket there, yeah, right? You could buy that on Amazon probably. You could probably buy it on Amazon, yeah. Right, so would you have North Face jacket? About 100 quid upwards? I have no idea. I was right. a gift. I don't know. That's I, that know. would be probably cheaper on Amazon. Here's a good example, right? Most people that, buy yeah. stuff like this. Like, this is what most people buy on like Amazon. Yeah. That that's like the s- roughly about the same price, right? Imagine like, even if there's like two pounds of difference, like you're just giving Amazon the money. Here, what do you think the profits are for those Echoes? Because people Dude, buy like why are people buying those though? Right, but they're like twenty five quid. Do you have one? Do no. you have like any like smart thing like that? No. I don't. Why would you want one? No, I, don't I don't get it. Right. So people buy but the twenty five pound. Pick up your phone, man. If you want to listen to music, just pick up your phone, right. play the music. So their phones are twenty five pounds, right? I'm s- on such a tangent, I love and, it. <laughs> and people are buying like five. How much are they? Twenty five quid. Well, maybe twenty five to thirty quid. I, they're not expensive, right? Right. But they're and they're quite, they're quite technological. Like they're smart. I, I fuck, believe it. Like. But we use one whenever we're at Aussies. Yeah, and it's dumb that we use it. Oh, uh-huh. it's like, so dumb that we use it. We're just lazy. <coughs> we're so lazy. What is wrong with us? How how many does Lucy have? In her house? Uh-huh. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Six in her house. One of them's also like that screen one that uh-huh. has a screen. That scares me, man. Yeah. That, it literally has a camera on it. It just watches you all the time. Oh, <laughs> that's so scary. So like, that's one household to six. Six, yeah. Think about how many households in and Britain, when America. When people buy one, it's usually like they buy a bunch. So uh-huh. they usually like, they basically just like, they bug their own home. Uh-huh. That's all you're doing. Uh-huh. How weird is that? Imagine, oh, how weird is that? You're literally giving your life away. See if Doing someone it. knocked on your door, right? And was like, <coughs> hey, can I just watch you all the time via these cameras? You'd be like, no. Aye. But that's all you're doing. You're just buying these and putting them in your house and letting those people do it. Do you know what I mean? And like, I know I get it. Like, I'm a hypocrite. I'm, I have a phone. You probably listen through the phone, right? I've got nothing to hide though, right? Mm-hmm. And it's not that I'm saying that it's like an invasion of privacy or whatever because I don't really mind that, right? Like, I, I'm not going to put tape on my camera. Watch me if you want. Hack my camera. Do it. I don't care. There's uh, nothing. Watching us anyway. Right? Okay. Exactly. What I'm weirded out about is that people are purchasing these things. They're purchasing mm-hmm. effectively useless technology that doesn't do much. Like, it doesn't do any Unless it cooks for you. Alexa, play me the Beatles. Yeah, just... But, like, why do we need that? Right, no. Do you know what I mean? But you can literally go... Just take out your phone. Just... The, 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 the Beatles. Or maybe... I maybe don't even like the Beatles, but I use them as an example, just FYI. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like the Beatles. Either. I don't like the Beatles. Um, well, two songs are okay, but... Yeah. Like... I don't it's know. Stupid. I'm not into Amazon. I'm not like a fan. people. There's no technology. Whenever there's like a a new thing, people just fucking flux towards it. Yeah. Like it's oh. just cool to have it right now. That's all it is. It's just uh-huh. cool. Like when an iPhone came out, everyone put an iPhone. Yeah. When a new iPhone comes out, everyone buys a new iPhone. Cause it's an iPhone. Yeah. Because it's a thing to have. Yeah. See, I I don't know, man. It's weird, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't like Amazon. I've never really like supported Amazon. Amazon. <sighs> so strange. <coughs> I, l- I like... <sighs> nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. No, <laughs> it's so bad. I just like hate it. it. I hate it so much. 
It's like, corporate. It's just capitalism. It's, it's not even that it's capitalism. Capitalism's all right. Like people get on at capitalism. Capitalism's fine to some degree. Creating your own company. That sounds oh. fine to me. I, I want to create my own company. You you probably want to create your own Everybody has ideas. We all want to be able to pursue them. That's what capitalism is supposed to push. It's this monopoly. Even doing this. Yeah, this is a, a yeah. This, this is a form of capitalism. Yeah, can I Podcasts yeah. are the shit now, no, everyone. Um the problem that I have with it is that it's like he owns everything. Do you know what I mean? He is the monopoly. Mm. He has control over everything. Like he can control the economic landscape of the of like the global economy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. One guy, he's so rich. He's t- literally just too rich. No one should be allowed to have that much money. Why would you even want to strive for that much money? Why do you need that much money? It's uh, too much money. We were literally discussing do. earlier <coughs> if we won a hundred million, what would we do? And after like naming like tons of stuff, we're th- we're probably thinking to ourselves like we probably have like more than ninety percent of our wealth still in our pockets mm. after buying like ten million pounds worth of junk. Like what would we buy? You know the average person makes only about three million in their lifetime. No way. That's way too much. I don't believe that. I don't believe they even Maybe that less much. than that. Way less than Under that. Under than three, like, do you will make a million in your lifetime? A million? Nah. The average person? The average person with a... I'm getting a calculator. A standard job. What's, like, so how long do you work for in that? Hybrid right, so let's say When you do you start, retire? When do you retire? What, what's the retirement age in the no UK? I don't know. I literally have no idea. 67, 68, 68? Let's say 65. Right? 65, right? right Minus start. 15. So you start at like 16, right? Uh-huh. So 50 years of working times the average salary, which is 26. Thousand. 26,000, yeah. Would you say 30,000, right? Yeah. 30,000. Oh, all right. Okay, you're right. That's 1.5 million. Uh-huh. So average so person, average person will make 1.5 million. million. A doctor will make. Six. One one point oh, five oh. million in a lifetime. In a lifetime. That's so sad. And to, and to people like <laughs> so Jeff Bezos, he makes that. That's like, like that's like a seconds. fucking ten pound. He makes that in like thirty <laughs> seconds. God. That's like ten quid to him. Do you know what I'm gonna write? One one point <laughs> five million, and and a and a lifetime, and a fifty uh-huh. year working lifetime. Uh, how much does Jeff Bezos? Make an a uh, second, what was it? Yeah. Or a minute? And see, to be honest with you, he can, he's a bit ugly, isn't he? Yeah, he looks mental. Uh, like, he looks so weird. Um, You look at the... What's the guy that does SpaceX and all that? What's his name? Oh my God. Whatever. Jeff Bezos makes... Hundred and ninety one thousand per minute. Hundred and ninety one thousand dollars per minute. Three three thousand one hundred and eighty two per second. Mm-hmm. What? <coughs> would you ever do that if you got like a reasonable amount of money behind you? Would you ever invest in Amazon? No. So your stock prices would no. go up and up and up because no. Amazon never. Amazon stocks never. I wouldn't. Do, I wouldn't do it. I no. honestly wouldn't do it. I know you don't support Amazon. Not that I support Amazon. Yeah. Uh, that you would do it to Apple. Would you put your share in I'd Apple? I do it to companies I believe in yeah. and I support. Like, uh, I mean, you could you could say like, oh, Apple's a huge company, whatever, right? But Apple have also done their shitty films. Yeah, of course they have. I'm not. Like it's not even that they're sweatshops yeah. in Asia and yeah, blah blah. I, blah. It's yeah. I I, I always, like. I, don't get me wrong. They're doing bad things. Yeah. Like, but they create quality products they create good tools and i'm not even going to defend that all right yeah they do bad stuff um but there's it's <coughs> almost like there's there's no alternative there's no ethically made computer really do you know what i mean so it's not like i can do the do a better version um but when it comes to amazon you can just buy from the original producer when mm. it, like if you're buying a bottle just buy from the original producer or go to a place that's like a more ethical equivalent or do you know what i mean mm. you don't need to get it from amazon Amazon okay. sucks. It's not even a good website. It literally makes no sense. I'm, I, I struggle to navigate it. I don't mind Amazon Prime. I don't mind the TV shows. Uh, I don't. I never use it. I have yeah, that. Never okay. used it. My mum has it for like I don't know. And sometimes I'll like. I think look it's at quite it, good. Like, like it. TV content, I believe. Um, quite a lot on Amazon that I would watch. Fair enough. I'm sure it has its good sides. Yeah. But all in all, Jeff Bezos sucks. <laughs> yeah, like Baldy Wanker. You won't see it, I will. They like Baldy Wanker, aren't they? Yeah. What were you going to say about Elon Musk? 
the guy that wants to do SpaceX. Right. Like, so you look at Elon Musk. <laughs> That's someone I'd invest in. Is a good. very rich man, right? Yeah, he's well rich. I don't really know the story of Elon Musk. He created PayPal. Oh, right, okay. Right. And then became loaded. Right, okay. Does he still have shares in PayPal? Does he still? Uh, he got fired, I'm pretty sure. Right. Um, because of something. He got, like, he's he got, like, pushed off the junkie. board. I don't know what the deal was. Right. Um, <coughs> but I, I think he's still... I don't know. Because I, I feel like I read so much about this and it's, like, so confusing because no one really knows the actual answer. He's We're not sure. economists. We don't understand exactly. this stuff. Um, Everything we see is for... Someone else. A journalist. Yeah, exactly. A journalist. Do, do you trust the media? Do I trust the media? Before I got to Elon Musk, do you trust the media? See. Certain aspects of the media you trust? Probably just as a whole, no. Like, no. The information I'm fascinated about is information that's pretty set in stone that we already know. So it's like stuff that's like well researched, well documented. Hitler was a bad guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm always interested when people say that he's not. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? You're always interested or when people have different Jeff opinions. Jeff Bezos is a baldy wanker. I think we can all agree on that one. Yeah, though. like if, if a journalist <laughs> came out. I'm on the fence about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, what's, the, what's the saying? I'm Switzerland or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about but not about Jeff Bezos. Um, but I mean, I kind of like that's why I, I kind of think that's why I have a podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so that I can talk to people that actually experience things. Like, um, uh, like I don't know what's a good example like having a podcast about Hong Kong and actually having someone that was at the Hong Kong protests uh-huh. you know what I mean that's you can't get a raw source of information than that you know yeah I mean? definitely do you trust the media certain aspects of it yeah, yeah. certain aspects no yeah, no. yeah. there's definitely an agenda there's always been oh, yeah. an agenda um I've got hiccups um mm. on that note off. On that note, hiccups and cough are going to be a bad duo. Mm. Um, so I think we should end it now. Okay. Got anything to plug last time, Ewan? Uh, don't buy from Amazon. <laughs> there yeah, you go. That is a great sentiment to live by. Yeah, thank you. The grand finale. Thanks for for being co-host again. So I'm not co-host. We know I'm not co-host. Why are you? Just reoccurring guest. Yeah. Um, but before this finishes. Uh, for those who have stuck around, we're going to create a, <coughs> a sort of like, a, what would you call it? A highlight. Yeah, a highlight channel. <coughs> That's exactly cough, it. Cough, cough. Yeah. Um, we're going to create a highlight channel. Uh, if you want to just catch like segments instead of the full episodes, you can get them there. It'll probably be called Volumes Highlights. Volumes Clips. Clips. Volume Clips. Volume Highlights. Keep your eye open for it. Uh, follow Volumes Podcast on Instagram for updates. And follow me and you because we're cool. And don't follow me. Yeah, just follow me. Yeah, Create don't follow me. Follow me instead of following you. <laughs> <laughs>